What is up guys, it's Cal, and today Blizzard announced that patch 7.2 is coming out March 28th. They've yet to announce when the Tome of Sargeras is coming out, they did release a cool uh, trailer for it, I'll leave a link to that in the description, you should definitely check it out, but they haven't said when that's coming out, it will be coming out uh, at least some weeks after patch 7.2. But in this video, I'm going to tell you guys three things that you should do before patch 7.2 comes out. Only three things, there's not a lot of things that are like going away when the patch comes out, or not a lot of things changing, but there are a few things. So that's what I'm gonna tell you in this video. So let's get started. The first thing to do is use all of the artifact power you have before March 28th, because a lot of people have been hoarding it, thinking, okay, well, there's new traits that are coming out for our uh, main artifact weapons. I'm just gonna use all of my artifact power on that weapon. Well, no, it's all vanishing when the patch comes out. Blizzard doesn't want you hoarding artifact power items. So make sure to use it all on like your off spec or your off off spec weapon uh, before the patch comes out or else it's all going away and you, you don't want that. This one kind of goes without saying, it's to get as many class hall resources as possible. That's because when patch 7.2 comes out, they're adding uh, quite a few things that you can buy with class hall resources. They're adding gear that you can buy for your alt, it's like buying on accounts gear. Um, they're like tokens, you know, you click them. It's it's like the timeless isle token and on top of that Everyone knows that you know class hall mounts are coming out But there will also be you know different variations to your class hall mount depending on the different specs you have Now I did talk about this in one of my uh, last videos, but each of those variations cost 10,000 class hall resources now you can only buy those other variations once you fully upgraded that uh, weapon for that spec but you, you wanna you wanna get as many as you can, especially since uh, they've recently in some patch 7.1 I think 7.1.5 they increase the amount it costs amount of resources it costs to do missions and there's still a lot of missions you want to do like ones that give artifact power, so it's always good you know just to have a lot of resources. Plus you know you can also buy uh, raid tokens you know to extra roll in raids and such with those resources. And now this last one, which came as news to me when I was doing some more uh, research on 7.2 today, is that the Obliterum Forge, um, well, I was about to say it's going away. It's not going away, but the quest line for it is going away. So the Obliterum Forge is going to be accessible to everyone. So don't worry about doing that achievement. And don't worry about doing that quest line, you know, because it does cost a you know good set amount of money to do, amount of gold to do. But uh, it's, it's going to be accessible to everyone. So, there is that. So that's pretty much it. I know this video was short compared to other videos that I've done recently, uh, but there's, you know, it wasn't a lot of things as far as what you should do before patch 7.2 comes out. So just to recap, use all of your artifact power, get as many resources as you can, and forget about the Obliterum Forge. Uh, but that's the whole video, guys. If this was helpful at all to you, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.